Avanil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to sketch graph for trigonometric function y equals to cosine x. So I have a table here. Theta values are given to you in radians. You need to find out what is cos theta of these. So when theta is 0, what is the value of cos theta? Pi by 6, pi by 4. So you need to fill this up. Once you complete the table, you need to sketch the cosine function and then write down some characteristics for the cosine function. So that is the kind of exercise which we are going to do in this particular video. To start with, I will like to highlight that we should use special triangles to really fill in the table instead of calculators. Reason being that we'll get used to using special triangles and that is going to help us a lot in future to solve problems relating to trigonometric equations. So we are always referring to two special triangles. One of them is 45, 90, 45. In radius it is pi by 4, 90 is pi by 2, 45 is pi by 4. So it's pi by 4 and pi by 2, right? So that is 90 degrees. Okay. As you can see, two angles are same, therefore two sides will be same. And let these sides be one each. In that case, hypotenuse is going to be square root 2. Now the second triangle, which is of our, of our interest in this case, is 30, 60, 90, which we will call from now onwards as pi by, this angle is pi by 3 pi by 6 and pi by 2. Now here the sides are, if you take equilateral triangle of sides 2, half of 2 will be 1 and this will be 2 square minus 1 square square root, that is square root of 3. Now these two triangles along with one more thing is, we are actually sketching cosine function but we know how it looks like, right? So I'll just draw a general cosine function here which will help us to give at least three good values. So that is the cosine function in general. As you know, it starts with 1 at 0. It has zeros at pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. Maximum at 1 and at 2 pi. Minimum of minus 1 at 3 pi by 2. So that is the minimum. Right. Now using these triangles and this diagram for a cosine function, you should be in a position to fill this data. Once you fill this data, then on a graph paper, you will sketch cosine function which will look like this. This whole idea is in short to explain you how to do this particular question. And now I will help you to fill in few values. For example, cos theta where theta is 0 starting at 0 cos starts with 1 so we get 1 pi by 6 pi by 6 is that angle cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse right we know what cosine is so let me write here we are looking for cosine function so cos theta is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse right that is what we are looking for now <laughs> Pi by 6 is, here is the angle, adjacent to square root 3, hypotenuse is 2, so we get square root 3 over 2. Pi by 4, go back to this triangle, 1 over square root 2. Pi by 3, come back to this, adjacent is 1, so it's 1 over 2. Pi by 2, now for pi by 2, 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi, use the curve. So pi by 2, we know it is 0. 3 pi by 2 it is minus 1 so where is 3 pi by 2 minus 1 at 2 pi it is going to be 1 so we'll fill in those values first from our graph right now rest 2 pi by 3 so when we say 2 pi by 3 we have actually moved into quadrant 2 so earlier we were in quadrant 1 now let's say these are our quadrant as you know pi by 2 is right here right this is pi by 2 this is 0 this is pi 3 pi by 2 and this could be said as 2 pi also so 
in this we have quadrant 1, 2, 3 and 4. From the cost rule we know one thing that cost is positive in quadrant 4 and 1, all are positive in 1, sine is positive in 2, tan is positive in 3. So in quadrant 2 which is 2 pi by 3 after pi by 2 till pi we are in quadrant 2 right. So this is our quadrant 2. Cost value should be negative. This is very important to understand. Is it okay? Cost value should be negative, right? So uh, this value is pi. I'm sorry, 3 pi by 2 is here. So I wrote wrong. This is pi. Okay. So cost values are negative, and that part represents the quadrant 2. So this is quadrant 2 for. So let me draw dotted lines here. This is quadrant 1. This is quadrant 2. So we can write negative here saying that all my values will be negative in quadrant 2. Now let's look back into the special triangles. 2 pi by 3 acute angle is pi by 3 right. So pi by 3 1 over 2 is the value 1 over 2. 3 pi by 4 acute angle is pi by 4 cos is 1 over square root 2 all negative right. 5 pi by 6 pi by 6 adjacent is square root 3 right over 2 and pi go back to your diagram pi is minus 1 do you see that so that is how you can get the values here now let's get back to the third quadrant which is from here to here right it is still negative here in the third quadrant 7 pi by c 6 so it is third quadrant is negative so let me write down negative first 7 pi by 6 acute angle is pi by 6 square root 3 over 2 see how easy it is 5 pi by 4 acute angle pi by 4 1 over square root 2 but negative pi by 3 that's the angle half but negative 3 pi by 2 is negative 1 which is the minimum value for cosine 5 pi by 2 is more than 3 pi by 2 right this is 3 pi by 2 so we are in quadrant 4 when you are in quadrant 4 all values are going to be positive right since if you draw a triangle here radius of that will be positive and x values are positive here you see x is positive adjacent side okay 5 pi by 3 pi by 3 is the acute angle and cos will be 1 over 2 pi by 6 is the acute angle cos will be square root 3 over 2 and 2 pi gives me the maximum value for cos which is 1 correct so if you draw all these values on a graph paper you'll get a graph like this perfect you can look how symmetric it is all values in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2 are similar if you go in the back 1 square root 3 1 over this 1 square root 3 over 2 half and okay we didn't write this value pi by 3 for cos is half right Hmm? So we, we actually missed it. This was square root 2. Pi by 4, 1 over square root 2. So we kind of wrote it at the wrong place. Okay, good to check. So do you see the symmetry? Cos function has even symmetry. So if you go from this direction and from this direction, right? If you go backwards like this or for like this, 1 square root 3, you find this repeating itself. So what we note here is few characteristics. One of the most important characteristics which you note here is cos theta has even symmetry. So if I actually extend this, it will be like symmetrical along y-axis as you can see, right? So that is one thing. Now domain of the function is all real numbers. Domain is all real numbers. which you can write as x belongs to r correct that becomes the domain as far as range is concerned range is between plus 1 and minus 1 so y belongs to r but y value has to be between plus 1 and minus 1 right maximum is plus 1 minimum is minus 1 as you can see right now it has zeros at 
0 pi by 2 I can write plus minus pi by 2 right because of symmetry right 3 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 plus minus so that means the odd multiples of pi by 2 so in general I can write 2n plus 1 or 2n minus 1 times pi by 2 right so that becomes uh, uh, I mean 2n plus 1 times pi by 2 that becomes a general expression for my zeros do you get the point right so that is how we can write this as far as the maximum is concerned so let me just divide this page and then write maximum value is what maximum is 1 and you'll find maximum is equals to 1 which occurs at 0 2 pi 4 pi so we can say which occurs at 2 n pi right where n belongs to integers do you see that so like this you can write general expressions for the cosine functions characteristics right similarly minimum values will occur which is minus 1 right so they occur at uh, pi right so they occur at plus minus pi then they will occur at 3 pi do you see that plus minus so in general I can write this as 2n plus 1 pi right where n belongs to integer so likewise you can write general characteristics of the cosine function one more thing which I want to highlight here is what are the key points the key points for cosine function whenever you want to sketch cosine function what are the key points for you so these are the key points let me highlight them here so the maximum values zeros minimum maximum zeros so these five are the key points so the key points are at 0 you have 1 right and then at pi by 2 you have a 0 and then at pi you have minus 1 3 pi by 2 it is 0 and at 2 pi it is 1 again so these are the key values for your cosine function I hope with this you get complete understanding of cosine function right now one of my question here is how do you relate cos theta with sine theta how is cos theta related with sine theta right that is a question for you need to answer right so so the answer is sine theta is a graph like this correct sine theta is cos theta starts from here do you see sine theta starts from here so a phase shift of pi by 2 to the right so sine that is the relation right so you have to write down how is cos theta related with sine theta so that should help you to you know totally understand the relation between these two primary trigonometric ratios i hope that helps thank you and all the best